You're getting to be a big boy. I'm just a kid who's four. Each day I grow some more. I like exploring. I'm Caillou. So many things to do. Each day is something new. I'll share them with you. I'm Caillou. My world is turning, changing each day. With mommy and daddy, I'm finding my way. Growing up is not so tough. Come on in, kids. I have a special treat for you. It's a story called Caillou Loves Halloween. Just look. Mommy, Mommy, is it time yet? Is it? Well, yes, it is. Let's get you and Rosie ready, shall we? Well, Mr. Spaceman, are you ready for liftoff? Almost, Daddy. All systems go. Yay! Here's your clown costume, Rosie. Just like you wanted. Rosie had asked for a clown costume, but when she saw it, it reminded her of how she used to be scared of clowns. Ah! Uh, I don't want it. You don't want to go trick-or-treating? Really? Caillou couldn't believe that Rosie didn't want to go trick-or-treating. Why doesn't Rosie want to go? Rosie is scared because she's still too little for Halloween. Well, if you really don't want to, I guess we'll just stay home. Hold still, Caillou. Bye-bye, Mommy. Mom stayed home to look after Rosie, so Caillou could go out trick-or-treating with his daddy. Go ahead, Caillou. What are you waiting for? Um... It's okay. You haven't forgotten what to say, have you? Well, this is a surprise. It's not every day an astronaut comes to my house. Go on, Caillou. You know what to say. Trick or treat, Mr. Hinkle. Trick or treat. Rosie was too scared to come trick-or-treating, Mr. Hinkle. Hello! Hi, Caillou. I'm a scary monster. And I'm a spaceman. <laughs> Leo's a monster. And Clementine's a nurse. Look at all my treats! Caillou, Leo, and Clementine all went trick-or-treating together. Trick-or-treat! Trick-or-treat! And they collected lots of treats before it was time to go home. Halloween was almost over, but there was still one more bell to ring. Trick-or-treat! Trick-or-treat! Who's this standing on the doorstep? It looks like an astronaut and his friends. It's me! It's Caillou! Well, if you want a treat, you'd better come in. I like Halloween. I love Halloween. Caillou's Halloween costume. Halloween was coming, and Caillou didn't know what he was going to dress up as. The bedsheet gave Caillou an idea for a costume. <laughs> he thought it would be fun to be a ghost. Ooh. <gasps> Look, Rosie, it's just me. See, it's a costume for Halloween. It's not supposed to be scary. It's
it's supposed to be fun. On Halloween, you dress up and go out and people give you candy. Rosie, dress up! I don't think the ghost costume is quite right for you, Rosie. Why don't we find you a different costume? How about this? Yeah! You look like a princess. Rosie Princess! Daddy, can you help me find the Halloween costume? Sure. Let's see what we've got in here. Why don't you try this on for size? Uh-huh. Hmm. <laughs> it's way too big. Don't worry. Oh, you look very grown up. I'm a daddy. I have just the thing to top off your outfit. <laughs> How you like dressing up like daddy? And Rosie can be a clown with this. Rosie clown! Rosie princess! <laughs> Caillou wasn't so sure he wanted to be a daddy for Halloween. It was awfully hard to walk. I think I need a different costume. We've still got a few days to think of something. Right now, it's time for bed. The days went by, and still Caillou couldn't decide on a costume. Finally, Halloween came. Caillou helped Mommy by drawing a face for the jack-o'-lantern and putting candy into little bags for his friends. <sighs> oh, what's wrong, sweetie? I still don't know what to be for Halloween. Daddy and Rosie are in the basement. Why don't you join them? Maybe you'll find something down there. There must be something in here you can use for a costume. Caillou was finding all sorts of funny things. Then he felt something soft and furry. Kitty! Good idea, Rosie. Everything, Rosie. Rosie Princess, Clown, and Cat. Now Caillou was really starting to worry about finding a costume to wear. <sighs> Come on, there's still time. We'll think of something. You know what? I think we've got all the makings of a great monster costume right here. A monster? How you like the sound of that? A monster! Monsters can eat as much candy as they want! Even monsters can get a tummy ache from eating too much candy. You'd better save those candies for tonight. A monster! What a good idea! After lunch, I'll make you a costume from that furry blue fabric. Thanks, Mommy! Here we go! One mini monster outfit made by Mommy! Caillou couldn't wait to show his friends his furry suit. Look, 
Rosie, a cowboy, and a bumblebee. Trick or treat! Yeehaw! What are you, Rosie? Princess Kitty Clown! <laughs> Where's Caillou? I want to see his costume. Ready, Monster Caillou? Ready! <gasps> it's just me. Nice monster costume, Caillou. Thank you. Want some monster candy? Yes, please. Thank you. I'm going to get lots of candy. Yeehaw! Me too! Mm -mm. Me too, but I'm going to save some for tomorrow. I don't want to get a monster tummy ache. Come on, kids. It's Caillou story time. What's the story called, Grandma? It's called Caillou Isn't Afraid Anymore. It all happened when Caillou was three years old. Mr. Hinkle lived next door. Lots of children said there was a ghost in his scary old house. Mr. Hinkle's house sure looked spooky. And so did Mr. Hinkle. Why, Caillou, what's the matter? It's Mr. Hinkle. He's scary. Why do you say that? Mr. Hinkle is scary. He's not there. And besides, I know Mr. Hinkle, and he's very nice. Why, hello there, Caillou. <gasps> Mommy! Poor Mr. Hinkle felt sad when he saw Caillou run away. Don't be frightened. Mr. Hinkle came over to say he was sorry you were scared. He's really a nice man. I don't like him. I think you're just afraid of Mr. Hinkle because you don't know him. Hello? Can I come in? Come in, Mr. Hinkle. Caillou, Mr. Hinkle would like to... Caillou? Oh, but where did Caillou go? I don't know. He was here a minute ago. Oh, boy. I think he's playing hide and go seek. Shh. And I love playing hide and go seek. Ready or not, Caillou, here we come. Now, where or oh, where could he be? Caillou, you, where are you? Gilbert, they're hear us. Oop, I think Caillou's hiding downstairs. We're getting warmer. I wonder if he's in here. I don't see him. No, he's not here. Let's check another room. <laughs> There's only one place left where Caillou could be. I think I'm getting warmer and warmer. Caillou forgot all about being scared of Mr. Hinkle. Aha! <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad to see you two are friends now. I want to play again. I'd like that very much, Caillou. And this time, I'll hide and you can seek. I like you, Mr. Hinkle. Aha! <laughs> mommy and Daddy were getting dressed up to go out to a party. Pretty Mommy! <laughs> Thank you, sweetie. <laughs> Pretty Rosie! Who's going to babysit us? Grandpa's coming over, and he said he's bringing a surprise. Caillou 
was excited that Grandpa was coming. Hmm. He wondered what the surprise could be. <laughs> Grandpa! <laughs> Grandpa, Grandpa! <laughs> Hi, Grandpa! Grandpa! Yay! Hello, Caillou. Hey, Rosie, my big girl. Quick, back inside now. It, it looks like a storm is brewing out there. Rosie, pretty. <laughs> You certainly are, sweetie pie. What's in the bag, Grandpa? Is that the surprise? The surprise? No, these are just my dirty socks. I thought you could wash them for me. <laughs> Grandpa, you didn't bring your dirty socks. I didn't? Hey, you're right. Come on, if the two of you go put on your pajamas, we can see what I've really got in here. About ships. Do you know what he's looking through? It's for looking at things far away. That's right. It's called a telescope. Whoa! A real telescope! I can see Gilbert. He looks huge. <coughs> this makes him look really close. Good night, Caillou. Good night, Rosie. Good night. Night, night. Be good for Grandpa. We will. Rosie, look. Caillou was afraid that Rosie might drop the telescope. Here, Rosie, I'll hold it for you. Close one eye and look through it. <laughs> Not like that. Just close one eye. <laughs> Grandpa read to Caillou and Rosie about sailing boats and brave sailors and the big blue sea. There's the captain on the bow. The bow is the front of the boat. The back of the boat is called the stern. Why is he yelling? He's giving orders to the crew. And when he gives an order, the crew salutes and says, Aye, aye, Captain. Aye, aye, Kappa. <laughs> Would you like to be my crew? Yeah! Yeah! All hands on deck! Aye, aye, Captain! Aye, aye, Kappa! <laughs> Trim the sails! Aye, aye, Captain! <laughs> Batten down the hatches! And down the hatches. Yes, when a storm is coming, they have to shut all the windows so the water doesn't get in. That's what that means. <sighs> is Rosie getting sleepy? <sighs> Look at him! He's climbing way up there to fix the sails. Oh, it must be scary going up that high. I'll bet it is. Those sailors must have been very brave indeed. What do you think, Rosie? Looks like it's somebody's bedtime. I'll be right back. didn't like thunder. He knew there was nothing to be scared of, but it was so loud it frightened him sometimes. Caillou thought about the brave captain of the ship. He wasn't afraid of thunder. Captain Caillou! Trim the sails! Aye, aye, Captain Caillou! Batten down the hatches! Aye, aye, 
Captain, Captain Caillou. Caillou. Honey, did you have fun with Grandpa? Uh-huh. He read us a book about ships and sailors. He's putting Rosie to bed. And now, it's Captain Caillou's turn. Go on. We'll be up in a minute. Hop on. I'll give you a piggyback ride. <laughs> <laughs> Hope the thunder won't keep you awake. Captain Caillou isn't afraid of thunder. I'm glad to hear it. Good night, Captain Caillou. <laughs> Good night, Grandpa. The thunder didn't scare Caillou anymore. Tonight, he was the very brave Captain Caillou. Sailing. Ahoy, mates! Time to set sail! Come, my friends, and follow me! Come, my friends, we're off to the sea! With a hi-ho, away we go! Sailors to the bow! Hoist the sails, catch the wind, we're really moving now! Sailing, sailing, over the ocean blue! Sailing, sailing, come and join Caillou's crew! I hope nobody gets seasick! Now if the wind picks up and a storm is near, don't be afraid, cause Caillou's here. I think I see a pirate ship, we better make a turn. Hey, is that a wheel I see swimming off the stern? Sailing, sailing, over the ocean blue. Sailing, sailing, come and join Caillou's crew. Ahoy, mates, I see land. Caillou, time to get out of the bathtub. Okay, Mommy. Caillou and the creepy crawlies. It was a lovely, peaceful morning at Caillou's house. Dolly! Dolly! At least until Gilbert decided to do a little exploring. Oh, it's just a little spider, honey. Spiders aren't yucky, Rosie. I like spiders because they have eight legs. Yuck! Rosie isn't very fond of bugs. Caillou liked insects. He wanted to show Rosie that they can be interesting and fun. Maybe then she would like them too. Come on, Rosie. I'll draw all the bugs I know for you. And then maybe you'll like them too. What a good idea. And why don't you bring your drawing things outside? We can have a picnic. Okay. Picnic, picnic. Come on, Gilbert. We're having a picnic. you. Oh, 
That's a bug, and it's not icky. It's called a ladybug. Isn't she pretty? Pretty bug. <laughs> I'll draw a ladybug for you, Rosie. Ladybug. Who's ready for lunch? I am! Me! Thank you! Thank you! <laughs> Gilbert tickling me! Gilbert isn't tickling you. He's on the picnic table. Ooh! Caillou! It's okay, Rosie. They're just ants. They won't hurt you. Caillou knew the ants were just looking for food. See how they go in a straight line, Rosie? It's like the way we go into play school after recess. Oh. <laughs> They're going to take the food back home and share it with all the other ants. That's right, honey. Miss Martin read us a story about ants. She said every ant has a job. Some dig tunnels, and some take care of the babies. Oh. Wow. Look. Here's another bug, Rosie. <laughs> Fuzzy. It's called a caterpillar. Here. Caterpillar. <laughs> Caterpillar tickles. Do you want to know what I learned about caterpillars? They go to sleep, and when they wake up, they turn into butterflies. Flutterby. You like butterflies, don't you, Rosie? Uh huh. Rosie likes Flutterby. <laughs> Ooh. Caillou thought about what it would be like to be as small as a bug. Ah, this is comfy. Hello, Mrs. Ladybug. Hello, ants. May I have some apple, please? Thank you. <laughs> Whee! Rosie? Where are you? Rosie flying! Whoa! <laughs> Rosie on a flutterby! <laughs> Here, Rosie. Ooh, flutterby! Come on, you two. You haven't finished your lunch. I think Rosie likes bugs now. Good. Thank you for teaching us about insects, Caillou. You sure know a lot about them. Caillou was proud of what he'd learned at play school. And he was glad that he could teach his little sister about bugs. Nice, Caterpiggle. Look, Gilbert. <laughs> Gilbert's scaredy cat. I guess Gilbert doesn't like bugs, huh, Rosie? Not like us. Silly, Gilbert. You like to make your own Christmas cards. Yes! a card for Mommy and Daddy and Rosie and Gilbert. Oh, and Sarah and Leo and Clementine. Hi, Caillou. 
Stop it, Rosie. You're stepping on my Christmas cards. Rosie, stop! What's wrong, Caillou? Rosie is stepping on all the cards that I'm giving my friends. Rosie, give two. Come on, Rosie. Let Caillou work, and we'll think of something else for you to give. Okay? Oh, I almost forgot. Grandma and Grandpa. Caillou worked all afternoon on his Christmas cards. Here you go, Rosie. Do you want Mommy to help you make a present for Caillou? We could draw a picture together. But Rosie didn't want Mommy to help her. She wanted to be like her big brother and do something all by herself. Daddy, look at all the Christmas cards I made. Can we give them tomorrow? We usually mail Christmas cards, Caillou. But they need them before Christmas. Don't worry. Everyone will get their cards on time. Here, this Christmas calendar will help you keep track of how many days are left until Santa comes. See these windows? There are 12 of them. One for each day left until Christmas. I can count to 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Good for you. Now, every night starting tonight, We'll open one window and discover a story behind it. I like stories. You'll like these stories a lot. Each window shows us how Christmas is celebrated differently all over the world. With a tree and presents and Santa? Well, that depends. Some children celebrate Christmas in different ways. Can I open a window? Sure. This one. It's stuck. Caillou didn't want to tear the calendar. So he opened it very carefully. He was anxious to see what was behind the little door. A Christmas tree! This is how Christmas was celebrated a long time ago in a country called Germany. Would you like to hear more about it? Yes! In a country far, far away, there lived a young boy, about your age, who loved going to work with his father. His name was Fritz, and his father was a lumberjack who cut down trees for a living. Fritz liked to watch the men do their work, and he knew that someday he would grow up to be a lumberjack just like his father. Fritz and his dad headed into the village to sell their trees. <laughs> Fritz noticed that the men didn't use the tiny little tree at the bottom of the sled, but Fritz suddenly had an idea how that little tree could be used. He thought the tree would look nice, in his house at Christmas time. And Fritz loved the smell of trees better than anything else. Fritz's mother thought the tree could use a little decoration. And since that time, people in many parts of the world have brought an evergreen tree into their homes at Christmas time. I like the Christmas calendar, Daddy. Tomorrow night, we'll open another window. And now it's time for you to go to sleep. Good night, Caillou. Good night, Daddy. And Caillou fell asleep, dreaming about Germany and Fritz and Christmas trees. Caillou woke up in a big hurry the next morning. Caillou. Um, good morning. So, can we get a tree? I think that's a great idea. Me too. I'll call a friend of mine and see if we can come by. What friend, Daddy? Go where? When? <laughs> You'll see. It's a surprise. Caillou loved surprises. But he really wanted to know who Daddy was calling and where they were going to get their Christmas tree. Who is Daddy calling? Can't tell. It's a surprise. All set. Let's finish breakfast, get dressed, and get going. Yay! Rosie is sure sleeping in late this morning. Gilbert? Gilbert hiding. Gilbert, where are you? <laughs> Silly cat. Caillou and 
his family left to go and get a Christmas tree. But Caillou still didn't know where they were going. Where are we going, Daddy? Yeah, where, Daddy? You'll find out soon. But all Caillou could see were trees on either side of the road. I know, we're going to Germany, right, Daddy? <laughs> no, Caillou. <laughs> Rosie, look! It's Jonah's farm! <laughs> Jonah, horsey! But Caillou was suddenly disappointed. He liked Jonah, but he thought they were going to get a Christmas tree today. But what about the tree, Daddy? That's why we're here. Jonah has a Christmas tree farm. Oh! <laughs> Welcome back, Caillou! <laughs> The place looks beautiful in the wintertime, Jonah. Thanks. <laughs> it's our busiest time of year, what with the Christmas tree farm and all. What's a tree farm, Jonah? You know that at Christmas time, a lot of people like a tree to put in their house to decorate. So I grow trees just for that purpose. Kind of like a tree garden? Exactly. <laughs> I think someone over there would love to take you all for a sleigh ride to the tree farm. Ginger! Blackie! <laughs> Here you go, Caillou. Do you remember how to feed them? Gentle. Good boy, Blackie. I think he remembers you, Caillou. Can we go to the tree farm now, Jonah? Absolutely. But first, we need a blanket to keep us warm on the sleigh ride. Could you do me a favor and get the big red blanket from inside the barn, Caillou? Yes. <laughs> Caillou was startled by the noise. <laughs> Hello, Horsey. You're my size. I have to go now. We're going on a sleigh ride. Bye, Horsey. Here, Jonah. There's a little horse in the barn. Yes, there is. That's our new colt. Colt? Yes, that's what we call a baby horse. Maybe you can come back in the spring to see how much she's grown. Oh, boy. Sure. Is everybody ready? Yes! yes. Yeah! <laughs> then here we go! Yeah! And they all headed off to find a Christmas tree. Look at all the Christmas trees, Rosie! Whoa, Blackie! Whoa, Ginger! Did you enjoy the ride? Yeah! yeah. Choose any tree you like. Okay. Come on, Rosie. There were so many trees. Caillou didn't know how they were going to pick one. Rosie, are you hiding? <laughs> I know where you're hiding. Behind that tree. I see you. You hide, Caillou. Okay. Caillou and Rosie thought the Christmas tree forest was a great place to play hide-and-seek. Caillou? Caillou? Caillou didn't want Rosie to find him, so he stayed very quiet. But suddenly, Caillou felt alone, and he didn't want to play anymore. Caillou didn't like being all by himself. Rosie? Mommy? Daddy? There you are, Caillou. Did you find a tree you like? These trees are big and scary. Well, why don't we go over to another row where there are smaller trees, more your size? The Christmas trees are in a field. One will grow the tallest. The tree that doesn't get sunlight will end up the smallest. Now there is one special tree, small and bent and hard to see. As tiny as a tree can be, that's different, you'll agree. Bent and tiny Christmas tree, pretty as a tree can be. Bent and tiny Christmas tree, the perfect tree for me. Now, Caillou, see how each tree is different, just like you and me. For some trees, it is better to grow up straight and tall. But sometimes strong winds blow, then it's better to be small. 
Tall is good and so is small. Trees have different lengths. Whatever size, it doesn't matter. Each has different strengths. Bent and tiny Christmas tree, pretty as a tree can be. Bent and tiny Christmas tree, the perfect tree for me. The perfect tree for me! I really like this tree, Mommy. Really? But it's so small, and it has a big bend in it. Why did you pick this one? Because it's just like the tree in Daddy's story. You're right. What do you think, Rosie? Christmas tree! <laughs> well, that Yay! settles it. Caillou was proud to have picked the Christmas tree and wanted to be sure it was in the best spot in the living room. Can we put the tree in the middle of the room, Daddy? It would be a better idea if we put it in a corner, Caillou. Okay. Over there. No, wait. That corner would be better. No, um, maybe over there. What? <gasps> Perfect. Whoa! Gilbert! Caillou was very happy with how his tree looked, and he knew exactly what it needed to become a real Christmas tree. That evening, Caillou had a brilliant idea. He wanted to make a special star to put on top of his very own special tree. Meanwhile, Rosie had a few ideas of her own. Rosie made a present for Gilbert, all by herself. That's wonderful, Rosie. Oh, you're such a big girl now. <laughs> Daddy funny. Yes, Daddy's funny. What are you doing with the wrapping paper? Rosie, big girl now. Gilbert, cut that out. Shoo! Go away! <laughs> Gilbert! <laughs> are you all right? Ha-ha! <laughs> Daddy's very funny. Now, could you please help me up? Could we help you decorate the tree, Daddy? I think that's a great idea, Caillou. What's that, Rosie? Wesley. Here you go. Why don't you two help me finish decorating the tree? Mine! Mommy gave this one to me. Caillou saw how upset Rosie was, so he decided to let her have the ornament. Here, Rosie, you can have it. That was very nice of you, Caillou. Christmas is a time of giving and of sharing, and you did a very good job of sharing with Rosie. Can I put my star up now? That's a great idea. Let's see that star of yours, Caillou. <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny? Daddy, funny. <laughs> And now the lights. Wait, I want the room dark. Ready? Ah. Oh. The tree doesn't look little anymore. It looks great. It's the best tree we've ever had. Caillou and his family all loved their Christmas tree. Now it felt like Christmas in their home. When Caillou got to bed, he was very tired. Did you have fun today? Yes. And now, I can't wait till Santa puts all my presents under the tree. Christmas is about more than just getting presents from Santa. Really? Like what? Christmas is a time for giving, especially to those who aren't as fortunate as we are. What does fortunate mean, Mommy? We're very fortunate because we have a beautiful home and we always have plenty to eat. And you're very fortunate to have all these toys. But I don't play with all of them. I have an idea. Why don't you gather up the toys that you don't play with and tomorrow we'll make sure they go to children who will enjoy them as much as you once did. Now I think it's time to open another Christmas calendar window. Yay! Let's see, there's 11 windows, so if you open one, how many windows are left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right. 
Tomorrow, there will be ten more days until Christmas. Let's see what we have. What is it, Mommy? This is how children in a country called Mexico celebrate Christmas. Would you like to hear what they do? Yes, yes! Several days before Christmas, Mexican children have a parade. They dress up as shepherds and as angels. And a young girl dressed as Mary rides a donkey. A little boy dressed as Joseph leads the way. Following them are three children dressed up as the wise kings. They dress up to tell the story of Christmas. Did you know that in Mexico they speak Spanish? Spanish? It's a beautiful language. Do you want to know how to say Merry Christmas in Spanish? Yes. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Caillou liked learning new words, and he liked how Merry Christmas sounded in Spanish. Feliz Navidad. I wish I could be in a parade, too. Good night, Caillou. Sleep tight. And don't let the bed bugs bite. When Caillou woke up, he remembered the idea of giving away some toys he didn't play with anymore. Come on, Rexy. We have some work to do. See, Rexy, I don't play with these toys anymore the way I play with you. What are you doing? I'm giving these toys away. Rexy? <laughs> no, silly. Not Rexy. These toys that I don't play with anymore. I'm giving them to kids who don't have as many toys as me and you. No, Ducky. No, Rosie. These are for kids who aren't as fortunate as us. But Rosie like Ducky. Okay, you can keep Ducky. Look, Mommy. These are the toys I picked to give away. Good for you, Caillou. They're going to make lovely presents. How about some breakfast? You must be hungry after all that hard work. Rosie didn't quite understand about giving and sharing, but she wanted to make Caillou happy. So she decided to wrap up Rexy and give him to Caillou as a surprise Christmas present. See, Rosie? I'm packing all the things I'm giving away. Oh, I forgot something. <laughs> Rosie wanted to give away some things, too. Give away? Give away? But she didn't quite understand what to give away. <laughs> Mommy and Caillou were going to the place where Caillou's toys would be given away. But Caillou didn't know exactly where it was. Where are we going, Mommy? Here's a clue. What's big and red and... Santa Claus! <laughs> yes, but what's big and red and has a loud siren? I know! A fire truck! <laughs> exactly! And where do we find fire trucks? In a fire station! You got it! At Christmas time, some firemen collect toys and give them away to children as presents. Like Santa! Caillou really liked the great big fire trucks. The firemen had used them to rescue Gilbert from a tree. Here. Let me help you. Thank you. Hi, Caillou. It's nice to see you again. Hi. Are these toys that you're giving away? Uh-huh. Well, that's very generous of you, Caillou. Sparky was very happy to see Caillou again, too. <laughs> <laughs> I taught Sparky a new trick, Caillou. Want to see? Give the paw, Sparky. Good boy. Do you want to try? Okay. Sparky, give the paw. <laughs> Good boy, Sparky. <laughs> Let's go take a look at what's in this big box of yours. Stacy, we have some more items. Hi, Caillou. What are you doing? I'm fixing up some toys to make them good as new again. Wow! Now, let's see what you've brought. Huh? How did that get in there? <laughs> this is a strange toy. And there's more. I know! 
Rosie put them there. <laughs> Rosie probably saw you giving things away and wanted to add a few things of her own. Now this is better. Let me see. Hmm. I have just the thing to fix it. Do you want to help me, Caillou? Wow! Look at all the wheels! Let's see. I think this one will be a perfect fit. Can you hold the truck for me? There. Is it all right? It's just like new. Great. Why don't you bring it over so I can wrap it? Is something wrong? Now that Caillou's truck was working again, he wasn't sure he still wanted to give it away. Caillou, you're going to make a little boy very happy when he gets to play with your truck. Caillou thought about it and decided that it would make him happy to give his truck to someone else for Christmas. Here, can I help you wrap it? You sure can. This truck is going to make someone very happy this Christmas, and it's all thanks to you, Caillou. That night, Caillou was in a big hurry to get to bed. Rexy, Rexy, Daddy's going to tell us another Christmas story. Rexy? Oh, it's you, Teddy. I was looking for Rexy. Ready for another calendar story? <laughs> yes. Let's see how many windows are left. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Right. So we open one tonight, and tomorrow there will be nine days left till Christmas. It looks like a classroom. You're right. This takes place a long time ago in a country called England. The children are at school, and they're writing letters to their families. The parents thought the letters were so beautifully decorated, they decided to send holiday greetings to their friends and families, too. Soon, People all around the world were sending beautifully decorated holiday cards to each other. That's when Christmas cards started. That's right. And now, bedtime. Sweet dreams, Caillou. Good night, Daddy. When Caillou woke up, he remembered his Christmas cards and wanted to mail them right away. Hi, Mommy. Hi, Rosie. Can we mail my Christmas cards today? Hi, Caillou. Sure. Can I see them? Clementine and Sarah and Jason and Jeffrey. Hmm. Oh, I think you forgot someone. Ooh. How about a letter for Santa? Santa! Yay, Santa! Caillou decided to draw a picture of all the toys he wanted Santa to bring him this year. Too. Ooh. What's that, Rosie? Horsey. What's that? A space station. Is that what you want Santa to bring you? Yes. And a new truck, and new skates, and a baseball, and a soccer ball, and a football, and a... <laughs> Whoa! Don't you think that's an awful lot? All that Caillou just to please you, don't you think? It is too much. No, no, Mommy, there are more toys. Santa should bring me in a rush. Santa, bring me always Mimi. Are you just my Mimi boy? But I want a fire engine. I like getting lots of toys. You like getting lots of toys. What about giving? What about caring? What about sharing? Christmas is for everyone. A telescope, a deck of cards, a basket for my bike. Soccer ball, a dinosaur. Lots of toys is what I like. Lots of toys is what you like. What about giving? What about caring? Whoa. What about sharing? Christmas is for everyone. But, 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 I, I, me, me. I, I, but, but, me, me, me. Maybe, Caillou, you can try not to be a me, me boy. Okay, Mommy, I will try to share more of my gifts and toys. You will see it's Lots of fun to share some of our Christmas joy. Now I'm not a Mimi boy. Okay, what I really want is a space station. Can we mail it to Santa now? Yes, but I have to get some stamps at the post office first. Want to come? Sure. 
So Caillou and Mommy got more stamps for their Christmas cards at the post office. Okay, Caillou, drop them in. Good morning. How are you today? Caillou and I were just mailing our Christmas cards. Do you take the letters to the North Pole? Not exactly. I pick up the mail in the boxes on my route. Then I bring them back to the post office. Then how does it get to the North Pole? Well, why don't you come inside and I can show you how the mail gets sorted at the post office. Can we, Mommy? Please? Of course. Let's go. All the mail gets sorted here and put into different piles. Mail that is going far away is sent from here to other post offices all over the world. Do you use a sleigh and reindeer? <laughs> We're not as well equipped as Santa, but we have planes and trains and trucks. What's that big pile over there? Ah, that's a very special pile. Those are all the letters addressed to Santa Claus. Is my letter to Santa in that pile? It will be very soon, and we'll take extra care to make sure Santa gets it. Thank you. What's that? That's a conveyor. It helps us sort out all the mail into different piles. This is just like Santa's workshop. <laughs> Maybe we should let our mailman get back to work. Thank you. You're welcome. Merry Christmas, Mr. Mailman. Mom told me you got a tour of the post office today. Yes, and there was a big bin with a whole bunch of letters to Santa. Santa and his elves must be very busy these days. And you've been busy too. So come on, bedtime. Where is Rexy? He must be around somewhere. I'm sure you'll find him soon. Do you think Teddy would like to hear tonight's calendar story? Okay. So are you two ready to open another window? Yes. How many days left till Christmas? Let's count the closed windows. One, One two, two, three, three four, four, five, six, six seven, seven, eight, eight nine. nine. <laughs> we open another window tonight, and tomorrow there will be eight more days till Christmas. Okay, go ahead and open this one. Who's that, Daddy? That's St. Nicholas. Once, a long time ago, in a country called Turkey, there lived a good man called Nicholas. Nicholas felt sorry for a farmer and his family because they didn't have enough money for food. He was a very thoughtful and generous man, so he decided to give the young family a basket of food. The family never knew who had given them the wonderful present. And from that day on, Nicholas decided to leave a present for the family every year. Saint Nick taught us the importance of being kind and thoughtful to others. I know how to be kind and thoughtful, Daddy. You sure do. You were very thoughtful when you gave your toys away. Good night, Caillou. Honey, have you seen my electric toothbrush? No. Have you seen my slippers? Another morning, and I can't forget It's not Christmas yet Another morning, eight days to go Christmas comes way too slow Please Christmas, hurry up and come Waiting for you is no fun Hooray! It's fun to play Bedtime and we count the days Christmas seems so far away Another morning, seven days to go Christmas comes way too slow Please Christmas, hurry up and come Waiting for you is no fun Hooray for tobogganing Let's shout out and sing Please, Christmas, hurry up and come. Wait.
waiting for you is no fun. Hooray, I'm learning how to ski. Here I come, watch me. Bedtime and we count the days. Christmas seems so far away. Christmas seems so far away. When Caillou woke up the next morning, he remembered that Rexy was still missing and started searching for him. Caillou looked everywhere he could think of. But Rexy was nowhere to be found. Caillou, what are you doing? I can't find Rexy anywhere, Mommy. I'm sure he'll show up soon, but we have to get ready to go to the Santa Claus parade now. And you young men have to clean up the mess you've made. But... <laughs> no buts. Okay, Mommy. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun Daddy, I can't see. Hey! Rosie, Majorettes. <laughs> Merry Christmas! Candy canes! Look, Santa's out! <gasps> huh? Don't go too far! Merry Christmas! That was fun! Ho, 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 ho. Look who's coming! Ho, ho, ho. Ho, 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 ho. Merry Christmas! Ho, ho, ho. Bye, Santa! Is Santa going back to the North Pole? Not yet. Remember, he wants to see if you've been a good boy. How? Well, I guess he'll ask you when we go to see him. We're going to see Santa! We're going to see Santa! We're going to see Santa! Hi, Caillou! Did you see the parade? Yes, and now I'm going to see Santa. Bye, Clementine! Okay, bye! Caillou! Caillou! Did you see the parade? Yeah! And I was in the parade with the elves! Wow! Do you want to come to my house tomorrow? We could play dinosaurs! Okay, see you tomorrow! Oh, oh, oh. And what's your name? What is it, sweetheart? Bathroom! Oh, sorry, Santa. Your turn, Caillou. And what's your name? Caillou. Have you been a good boy this year, Caillou? Yes. I even gave some of my toys away at the fire station. Well, that's wonderful. Giving is very important. And what would you like for Christmas, Caillou? A space station. But I already sent you a letter about that. Santa, I can't find my dinosaur, Rexy. <laughs> Would you like Santa to bring you another dinosaur? No, there's only one, Rexy. Can you help me find him? If I see him when I come by your house, I'll put him under the tree. Okay? Thanks, Santa. Oh, and my sister Rosie wants a toy horsey. Okay. Let's count the closed windows. One, two, three, four, five. That means that tomorrow there will be four days left till Christmas. This man's name is Diet Maros. That means Father Frost. He lives in Russia and he brings children their Christmas presents. There are places in the world 
Where Santa has a different name Where different languages are heard Where Christmas is not the same For Christmas in Denmark Yule Monden brings surprises He plays tricks and wears disguises Children leave him milk and dishes They'll ask him to grant their wishes There are places in the world Where Santa has a different name Where different languages are heard Where Christmas is not the same Where Christmas is not the same Sing me some more Good night, my love Hello, how are you? Leo, Caillou's here. Hi, Caillou, come on up. What you doing? I'm making my parents a card for Hanukkah. Do you want to make something for your parents? Okay. Can I use this too? Sure. Caillou thought he would make something for Rosie as well. So Leo and Caillou got to work on making cards and gifts. Who's the snowman for? Rosie. You have paint on your nose. So do you. <laughs> <laughs> Leo, Caillou, just a second. Quick, I have to hide my mom's card. two up to? Nothing, Mom. <laughs> yeah, nothing. I see. Well, since you're doing nothing, why don't you two wash up and go outside to play? <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to play hockey? I have an extra pair of skates. Yes! Whoa, whoa. Pass it over, Leo. Here it comes! Whoa, whoa. You okay? Uh-huh! <laughs> Caillou, Leo, how about some hot chocolate? Yeah! I love hot chocolate. What's that? It's a menorah. During Hanukkah, we light one candle every night. It's called the Festival of Lights, and it lasts eight days. And we play dreidel. What's a dreidel? I'll show you. It's like a top. You spin the dreidel, and you see on what sign it lands. I'll go first. Shin. That means you have to put a raisin in. Oh! Your turn, Caillou. Give it a big spin. Gimel, good for you, Caillou. You won all the raisins in the pot. <laughs> When Caillou went home, he made sure to hide the cards and the snowman. Caillou! Shh! I have to hide my presents. Woozy have presents too. Shh! Christmas presents should be a surprise, Rosie. So don't tell anyone, okay? Hey, you two. Presents! Shh! Later that night, Caillou was very curious about Rosie's presence. Rosie, are you awake? Caillou! Shh! Caillou didn't want Mommy or Daddy to hear. Gilbert! What did you get me for Christmas, Rosie? Uh-uh. Pleasant supplies. Caillou said so. I know, but if you tell me yours, I'll tell you mine. Ahem. <gasps> Christmas presents are a surprise, right, Caillou? <laughs> 
Right, Daddy. <laughs> Come on, then. Bedtime. Can you tuck me in? Okay. <laughs> Time to sleep, Princess. Night, Daddy. Night, Caillou. Mommy, would you sing me your Santa song again? Please? Okay, sweetheart. Come on. One, two, three, four. So tomorrow, there will be three days left until Christmas. Go ahead and open the next window. There are places in the world where Santa has a different name. Where different languages are heard, where Christmas is not the same. For Christmas in Greece, Santas are called Kielanceroi. They are elves who burst with joy. They laugh and play, are full of fun, and down the chimney, here they come. <laughs> there are places in the world where Santa has a different name. Where different languages are heard, where Christmas is not the same. Where Christmas is not the Could you give your grandma a hand and take this for me? What is it? Christmas presents for you and Rosie. Could you put them under the tree for me, please? Sure. Oh, wait, Caillou. I almost forgot. I have a present for Gilbert, too. What a lovely Christmas tree. I picked it myself, and Rosie helped me decorate it. Well, you did a magnificent job. It looks even better with presents under it. Grandma! Hi, sweetie. Grandma's going to stay with you, Caillou, while we go out shopping. Yay! Me too! Whoa, Gilbert! Here, let me help you with that. What do you say we make an extra large batch of Christmas cookies? and share them with my friends at the retirement home. I know all about sharing, Grandma. Great! Then let's get started. At Christmas time, the family's near. Our hearts are filled with Yuletide cheer. We share our gifts, but the best part, we share the feelings in our heart. Christmas is a time to share all that we do. Christmas is a time to care for others, too. Let's share our gifts with everyone. The young, the old, cause sharing's fun. Share the things that we hold dear with friends and family far and near. We share our joy. We share a toy. We share a tickle. We share a, we share a pickle. We share a hug. We, uh, we share we share a bug. We share our time. We share a rhyme. We share our cookies. <laughs> yes, we share our cookies. Christmas is a time to share all that we do. Christmas is a time to care for others, too. A time to care for others, too. Look, Grandma. I made a snowman! This is fun! I'll add some raisins. Good idea! Wow! They're perfect! I think this batch is ready for the oven. Hello, everyone! Merry Christmas! Everyone was very happy to see Grandma and Caillou again. Cookie? I baked them myself. Mmm, delicious. Thank you, Caillou. You're welcome. Caillou was very proud of his cookies, and he was happy that everyone liked them. Thank you, young man. Don't mind if I do. And what are you asking Santa for this year? A 
space station. Ah, excellent choice. And excellent cookies. These are wonderful, Caillou. Now that you're here sharing your cookies with me, my Christmas just got a whole lot better. Spending the afternoon with Grandma's friends was like having a whole bunch of Grandmas and Grandpas to play with. Grandma and Caillou decided to play a game of Go Fish while waiting for Mommy, Daddy, and Rosie to come home. Hmm. Do you have a tree? Go Fish! A tree! I get another turn! Do you have a dog? Yay! I'll get it. Woof! 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 <laughs> Come back, Gilbert! It's not a real dog! That was Sarah's mom. Did Sarah give you an invitation to her school play? Oops! I forgot! Here it is! It's tomorrow at 3 o'clock. So, did you have fun with Grandma today? Uh-huh. I even won at Go Fish. Good for you. Let's see how many windows are left. One, two, three. A Christmas stocking, just like mine. And Santa's going to fill it with candy. Right, Daddy? <laughs> I'm sure he will. But do you know how that tradition started? Boys and girls all over the world used to leave something for Santa in their shoes. In France, children place their shoes by the fireplace. And in Holland, where Santa Claus is called Sinterklaas, children leave hay and a carrot in their shoes for Sinterklaas's horse to eat. In Hungary, children shine their shoes before putting them near a windowsill. In Italy, there is a woman called La Befana, who arrives at Christmas time like Santa Claus. And children leave food for her in their shoes outside their front door. And in Puerto Rico, children put vegetables under their beds for the camels of the Three Kings. I'm going to leave something for Santa too, Daddy, but I won't put it in my shoes, okay? Okay, Caillou. Sweet dreams. And Caillou had very sweet dreams. Sarah's Christmas play is today. Can we go, Mommy? Please, please, please? I don't see why not. What time does it start? Grandma said at 3 o'clock. Fine. But there's something really important to do first. What? The Christmas lights outside. So you'd better get dressed and come and help me. Grandpa's coming over to help, too. Caillou couldn't wait to help Daddy and Grandpa with the lights. He felt like a very big boy. Hello! Here's your extra pair of hands. Right on time. Grandpa! Are you ready to set up some lights, Caillou? We need lots and lots of lights. Meanwhile, Rosie was busy, too. She was making sure her presents were ready for Christmas. Caillou, Daddy, Mommy, Gilbert. No, Gilbert, present supplies. There! Good job, Caillou. It looks great. That about does it. Caillou was very proud of having done such a great job. He couldn't wait to see the lights all lit up. Good job, you two. Caillou, we have to get going. Sarah's play starts soon, and we don't want to be late. But when Caillou and his family arrived at the school, there was no one else in the audience. I think we're early. It's exactly three. Not according to the school clock. It says two. Maybe you should ask Santa for a new watch. All right, everybody, let's begin the rehearsal. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Caillou. I'm sad because Christmas is coming and... Where's Jimmy? Jimmy, that's your cue to come on stage. He's thick, Miss Johnson. Oh, dear. 
Well, then we need to find someone to replace him. Why don't you ask Caillou? He's right over there. Hello, Caillou. It's nice to see you again. Would you like to be in our play? That sounds like a lot of fun, Caillou. Caillou was nervous. Why don't you come on stage and give it a try? Sarah will be with you the whole time. <laughs> Caillou! It's easy, Caillou. When I say, I'm sad because Christmas is coming, you say, and there was no snow. Exactly. And you say it nice and loud. Okay. Go ahead, Sarah. I'm sad because Christmas is coming. And there's no snow. Very good, Caillou. Could you say it a little louder this time so your mommy and daddy can hear you? And there's no snow. That was great, Caillou. Excellent. Caillou was happy he had said Yay! his line right. <laughs> he was very proud. And then you and Sarah go off stage. And at the end of the play, you come back on stage with Sarah again. Then Sarah says, Hooray, it's snowing. And Caillou, you say, it's Christmas time. Nice and loud with a big smile, okay? Want to try it? It's Christmas time! You're a natural, Caillou. Caillou liked being in Sarah's play. He felt all grown up. When the play was about to start, Caillou was feeling nervous again. Don't worry, I'll hold your hand. You'll do fine. Ready? Say all your lines nice and loud, everybody. Good luck. Thank you, everyone. We have a last minute replacement this afternoon. Let's have a big round of applause for Caillou. But when Caillou heard his name, it made him even more nervous. Sarah, I forget what to say. You say, and there is no snow. Oh yeah. Come on, we have to go on stage now. Now? Yes, come on, you can do it. I'm sad because Christmas is coming. Caillou, and there is no snow. And there is? Louder. And there is no snow. You did great. Thanks. Where is all the snow this year? Yes, where? Santa needs snow for his sleigh. Go ask... Uh, old Man Winter. Old Man Winter. Okay, I will go. Old Man Winter, Santa needs snow. Okay, I'll huff and puff and make it snow. Snowflakes were snowflakes, here comes the snow. Snowflakes were snowflakes for winter's big show. Snowflakes were snowflakes for fluttering down. Snowflakes were snowflakes down to the ground. Now I can bring my presents. Hooray, it's snowing. It's Christmas time. <laughs> Only two windows left, Daddy. That means tomorrow is Christmas Eve. Wow! Christmas is really, really soon. It looks like Christmas dinner, Daddy. It is. Many people around the world celebrate Christmas with a special Christmas meal. In Spain, they eat basugo, which is fish. And in Norway, they eat roast goose. And there's cheese pancakes in Austria and plum pudding in England. And in France on Christmas Eve, which is called Réveillon, they have a special cake called a Bouche de Noël, which is filled with chestnut cream. Daddy? Yes, Caillou? I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Today is Christmas Eve. Santa's coming tonight. Come on, we have lots to do.
Good morning, Caillou. Morning. Um, <laughs> Caillou, cookies for breakfast? They're not for me, Mommy. Santa's coming tonight. I'm going to leave him some cookies. Is Santa coming down the chimney? Like he always does. Then we should clean out the fireplace. I don't want Santa to get dirty. Good thinking, Caillou. <laughs> oh, that must be Grandma and Grandpa. Grandma! Grandpa! Santa's coming tonight. Yes, he is. But only when you'll be sound asleep, right? And the best way to go to sleep is on a full tummy. So I guess we better get cooking if we're having turkey tonight. And apple pie. Right, Grandma? Absolutely. Are you going to be my little helper again? Yes. It was a busy scene in the kitchen with preparations for Christmas Eve dinner going on everywhere. Okay, Caillou. I need help making the turkey stuffing. Now, here's a spoon. Now, mix it all up. Well, the pie's ready to bake. And so is the turkey. Stuffing's ready, too. Yay! You finally found your toothbrush. No, I still can't figure out where the other one disappeared to. Same place my slippers did, I guess. Let me help you, sweetheart. Why do we have to get dressed up? Grandma and Grandpa come over all the time. Because it's Christmas Eve dinner, silly. It's a special night. There. Now you look perfect. <laughs> the meal was wonderful. Caillou was so full, he thought his tummy would burst. I bet you've never seen anyone do the famous thumb trick before. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting Grandpa's famous missing thumb trick. Abra. Cadabra! Wow! <laughs> How'd you do that, Grandpa? A magician isn't supposed to reveal his tricks. Oh, I have a joke. Go for it. Knock, knock. Who's there? Isidore. Isidore who? Is a doorbell ringing, Grandpa? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one, Caillou. And now for my famous Christmas apple pie. Even better than Grandpa's famous turkey stuffing. <laughs> we wish you a Merry Christmas. Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. And a Happy New Year. Yay! What do you say we go outside and see how our lights look, Caillou? Yes. Ready, Caillou? Ready. Okay, here goes. Yay. Wow. I'm gonna wait up all night to see Santa. But Santa won't come if you're awake. Aww. Do you want to see what's behind the big Christmas Eve window? Yeah. was the night before Christmas, when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief, and I in my cap, had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from the bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters, and threw up the sash. When what to my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. No, Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen. On Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen. And then in a twinkling, I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my hand and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk. 
and laying his finger aside of his nose and giving a nod, up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim ere he drove out of sight, Happy Christmas to all, and to all a good night. Sweet dreams, Caillou. Caillou was excited to see all the presents, and he noticed that Santa had eaten all his cookies. I see. Can I give my presents first? Please, please. All right, your presents first. Here, Mommy. Here, Daddy. Thank you, sweetheart. When did you make these? It was a surprise. I made them at Leo's house. And the wrapping is so beautiful. Open it. Oh, what a beautiful picture. It's you, Mommy. And is this a picture of me? Yes. Thank you. It's wonderful. And this is for you, Rosie. Rosie Pleasant. Snowman! Do you like it? Yeah! I think Santa brought this one for you. Wow! A space station! Just what I wanted! Now? Rosie presents. How nice. Thank you. Thank you, Rosie. Well, look at this. Your missing slippers. Oops. And your electric toothbrush. Here, Here you go. go. Can you present? Rexy! Here you are. You weren't lost at all. Now I get it. Rosie wanted to give us presents we love. Yeah! Can you love Rexy? You two did a very good job at keeping your presents a surprise. And I think Rosie just started our very own family tradition. Caillou learned a lot about traditions from all the calendar stories, right, Caillou? Uh-huh. I learned about the first Christmas tree and where Christmas cards came from. And St. Nick. He taught us that giving and sharing are important, right? Right. Gilbert, no! What is it, Rosie? Gilbert present. Merry Christmas, Gilbert. Here, Daddy, it's from Santa. <laughs> Just what I needed. It's Christmas morning and it's snowy winter weather. It's Christmas morning and our family's together. We need to share our love. Christmas morning and it's snowy winter weather. It's Christmas morning and our families together. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas. You're getting to be a big boy. I'm just a kid who's four. Each day I grow some more. I like exploring. I'm Caillou. So many things to do. Each day is something new. I'll share them with you. I'm Caillou. My world is turning, changing each day. With Mommy and Daddy, I'm finding my way. Growing up is not so tough.
Sorry, Caillou, but the barbecue is too hot. Why don't you go play with Rosie until dinner's ready? <laughs> See if Grandma needs some help in the kitchen while I make sure there are no more ants around. Okay, Mommy. Grandma, what are you doing? I'm making my special top secret potato salad. Top secret? Shh. <laughs> you can be my taste tester. Yummy! What a beautiful night. I think I see the evening star. Wow, it's pretty. This reminds me of the time I saw a shooting star. A shooting star? It's a star that flies across the sky like a bird. It's like magic. Well, Caillou, let's get back to work. Come and get it. A shooting star! Wow! What a beauty! Where? It was just there a second ago. Grandpa, there was a shooting star outside, but it's gone. I'm sure there'll be more. Well, let's go see. Look, Caillou, there goes another one. Where? I want to see. Don't feel bad. Shooting stars are very fast and hard to spot. Caillou still wanted to see a shooting star. He decided he would wait as long as he had to. I'm sorry you missed the shooting star, Caillou. Why don't we look at the moon instead? Yay! I want to see the moon! <gasps> the moon is big! You see this group of stars? That's called the Big Bear. I can't see a bear. Oops. Let's see, where were we? Here we go. And that one's the Little Dipper. See you soon. Look quick, Caillou. Oh, I missed it again. Don't worry, Caillou. There'll be other shooting stars some other night. Caillou wasn't sure he would ever see one. He felt sad. Time for bed, Caillou. It's late. Nighty-night. Good night, stars. Wow! wasn't sure if he should be waking Mommy and Daddy up. Gilbert! Good morning, Caillou. Do you want to fly this morning? <laughs> Daddy, make me fly! Whee! Oh, no! The alarm didn't go off. I'm going to be late for work. Caillou, why don't you go downstairs and feed Gilbert? I'll get Rosie up. Mommy's in a hurry, so eat up, okay? Caillou wasn't happy that everyone was in such a rush this morning. <laughs> Daddy, funny! Whoa! <laughs> Finish your breakfast, Caillou. We're in a hurry. Brush your teeth now. Rosie, wait! Do you want to look like Mommy? Yeah! Go like this. Rosie, don't move. Caillou, did 
did you do this to your sister? Uh, I wanted Rosie to look pretty like you. You know that you're not allowed to play with my makeup. Come on, Rosie, let's get you cleaned up. Go on, get dressed. You and Rosie are going to your playgroup this morning. I don't want to go to playgroup. Caillou! What's taking him so long? Go on and start the car, honey. Caillou, Mommy is waiting for you outside. Caillou couldn't keep up with the hustle and bustle and began feeling a little overwhelmed by it all. I don't want to go with Mommy. I want to stay home with you. But I'm going into work later on. I don't want you to go to work. Hang on. I'll be right back. Mommy was told to go on ahead and that Daddy would walk Caillou to playgroup. Yay! Are we going to stay home and play today? No, Caillou. Daddy still has to go to work. But first, let's get you dressed. I have something to show you. What are you going to show me, Daddy? I'm going to show you a whole bunch of people that have to go to work, just like Mommy and me. Good morning, Caillou! Are you working? Sure am. I'm delivering the mail. Would you like to help me? Can I? Here, could you take this letter and put it in Mr. Hinkle's mailbox? You see, Caillou? A mail carrier works every day. Why? To make sure that Mr. Hinkle gets his mail and your dad gets his bills. <laughs> You two don't want to come and work with us? Can we? Sure, but not until you're a little older, okay? You have to wait until you're big and strong. It's a tough job keeping the town clean. After all that hard work, how about we get us a snack? Yes! I just have to make a quick stop first. Why do you have to work, Daddy? Because I enjoy working. And I make money doing it. But the machine gives you money. Yes, it does. But first, I have to put it in. I have a muffin, too. Is it a chocolate chip muffin like mine? No. Can you turn on the lights on top? Maybe the officers are busy, Caillou. Not at all. We're on break. Would you like to turn them on, Caillou? Yes. This is Officer Caillou, 10-4. <laughs> okay, Officer Caillou. Time to let them go back to upholding the law. Daddy, I want to be a police officer when I grow up. You can definitely do that too, Caillou. But first, let's get you to your playgroup, okay? Daddy has to go to work now, just like all the people we saw at work this morning. Okay? Okay. There you are, Caillou. I was wondering when you were going to show up. Mrs. Martin, I sat in a police car. Really? <laughs> that must have been fun. <laughs> I was showing Caillou people at work. We also saw a mail carrier and a garbage collector. Right, Caillou? But the police officer has the best job. But I think my job is the best in the whole world because I get to play with you. 10-4, Officer Caillou. Gilbert to the vet for his regular checkup. Gilbert, where are you, you bad cat? But Gilbert was missing. I can't see the box anywhere, honey. 
Are you sure it's down here? Did you find Gilbert, Caillou? No, Daddy. And I can't find his box. Look what I found. When Gilbert saw his box, he knew that meant he would be going in the car. And Gilbert didn't like going in the car. Gilbert doesn't want to go to the vet. I know, but he has to. He needs a checkup. A checkup? Like when I go to the doctor? Exactly. The veterinarian is Gilbert's doctor. It's okay, Gilbert. I'll look after you. Daddy! Gilbert got out of the box! Okay, don't worry. Everything's under control. I hope. a bad cat. He's just scared. He doesn't like riding in the car. <sighs> Silly Gilbert. I love riding in the car. Gilbert was back in his box and they were on their way again. By the way, Caillou, just how did Gilbert get out of his box? I just wanted to pet him. That was nice of you, but let's leave him in the box from now on. Okay? Okay. Hi, Caillou. What are you doing here? Gilbert is having his checkup. Ollie's here to have his teeth cleaned. He has to stay overnight. Did you bring his toothbrush? <laughs> no, silly. He doesn't have a toothbrush. Dr. Orangeville has to clean his teeth for him. <laughs> Good. Everything's fine here. And now I have to give Gilbert his shots. Is it going to hurt? Not very much. And it'll make sure he stays healthy for a whole year. How would you like to help me, Caillou? Just pet Gilbert and keep him calm. Don't worry, Gilbert. There. All done. That wasn't so bad now, was it? might be. We're going to the moon. <laughs> Just make sure you come back in time for lunch, okay? Caillou, <laughs> play with Teddy. I don't want to. The moon's this way. Slow down a bit. Rosie really wanted to play with Caillou and Leo. <laughs> oh, this is interesting. There's a planetarium opening tomorrow. I think I know a couple of spacemen who'd be interested in that. <laughs> Me too. And look, they're having a contest for the best space costume. A space costume. Hmm. <laughs> Are you play with Teddy? No, Rosie. <laughs> <laughs> I know you want to play with them, sweetie. Tell you what, why don't we find a game we can play? <laughs> we could make space costumes. <laughs> Have you heard the news? 
they're opening a planetarium. What's that? Well, let's see. It's a kind of movie theater where you can see stars and planets inside. Wow. Can we go? I don't see why not. Would you like to come too? <laughs> I'll call your mom. And there's a contest too. A contest? Yes, for the best space costume. Leo, you look just like a spaceman. And I'm a space monster! Caillou, Mommy told me you made Rosie cry today. I know you don't always want to play with Rosie, but she is your sister, so you always have to be kind to her. Okay, Daddy. Come on, finish your milk. It's time for bed. <laughs> You've got milk on your lip. What's so funny? Oh, I get it. <laughs> You do look like you've been to the Milky Way. What's the Milky Way? Well, let's see. It's, um, it's the galaxy containing the solar system. It's a place in space where there are millions and millions of stars. Just what I need. What do you want those for? It's a secret. Caillou really wanted to know what Mommy's secret was. What Caillou and his daddy didn't know was that Mommy was making space costumes, too. Perfect. Why aren't there stars? Um, I, uh, hmm. Night, night, Daddy. That night, Caillou dreamed all about the stars and the planets and the Milky Way. costume? I'm gonna win the contest. Welcome to the planetarium, everyone. <gasps> I have a special game for you today. Look, I'm walking on the moon. <laughs> Can you do this? That's great. <laughs> and over here is the Milky Way. <laughs> And now something extra special. Walking on the moon. This is the moon. And here come the moonwalkers. And that's the end of our show. Except for just one more thing. The contest for the best space costume. And the prize goes to... Rosie and Rosie's Mommy! So that's what Mommy wanted the oven mitts for. Congratulations!
Whisper. Is it here yet? Is it? It should be. Why don't you go and check outside, Caillou? Okay. Every Saturday morning, Caillou and his daddy enjoyed looking at the newspaper together. Caillou liked to look at the comics and make up his own stories. Oh, no! Mommy! Daddy, help! What's wrong, Caillou? What a mess. Quick, we'd better catch them before they blow away. Good for you, Caillou. Look, here's another. Hey, there's my comics. <laughs> no, Gilbert. <laughs> Daddy, look what Gilbert did. You know what? With a little tape, it'll be as good as new. Why don't you go with Daddy while Rosie and I finish collecting the rest of the paper? <laughs> okay. I'll get the tape. Caillou was relieved that his torn comic could be fixed. He wanted to tape it himself. See? You stick it down like this. Here, you can finish up. Okay. There. Have another go. I did it! Ready for our Saturday morning read? Yep. <gasps> no! Daddy, look what he did! Why don't we hang it on the clothesline to dry? Like the laundry. <laughs> okay. Later, Caillou and his daddy went to check if his comic was dry. There. It's as dry as a bone. I can see the pictures again. <laughs> you better hold it tight. We've got a visitor. No, Gilbert. Stay away. Are the comics funny, Caillou? <laughs> There's a funny cat. Kind of like Gilbert? <laughs> I think it's time for someone's cat nap. <laughs> Gilbert likes comics, too. <laughs> Caillou was so happy to have his comics to look at that he was no longer mad at Gilbert. <laughs> Hide and seek. want Rosie to play with his toys, but he knew that he wasn't supposed to make her cry. Some flour and eggs and milk and sugar, then I stir it all together. Flour and eggs and milk and sugar, then I stir it all together. Daddy! Mmm. Oh, hi, Caillou. Rosie takes all my toys. Well, she's younger than you. So she doesn't always understand. Maybe you could share. Oh. Caillou was annoyed that he always had to share with his baby sister. Why don't you go and play with Rosie, and then you can come back in a little while for the special surprise I'm making. Special surprise? You bet. Watch this. I'm a pro.
need some help? No, thanks. It's going to be a surprise. I'm surprised already. I'm sure you can find a game that you could play together. Caillou was upset that his daddy wasn't listening to him. He didn't want to play with his baby sister at all. What is it, Caillou? Daddy says I have to play with Rosie. Well, that's okay, isn't it? But I don't want to. She is your little sister, Caillou. It would be nice if you could play a game with her. Please? Caillou didn't think it was fair. He felt that no one understood that he wanted to play all by himself. Caillou got the idea that maybe he could find something for Rosie to do, and that way, she would leave him alone. Caillou! I'm making a play for it for you, Rosie. Yay! You can play in here. Rosie? Are you hiding? <laughs> ah, you're playing hide and seek. Gilbert! Gilbert, where's Rosie? She's not here! Caillou thought that Rosie was playing hide-and-seek with him, so he set out to search for her. Flour and eggs and milk and sugar, then we stir it all together. Flour and eggs and milk and sugar, then we stir it all together. Did you and Rosie find a game to play? We're playing hide-and-seek. I'll give you a hint. She was here, but she just left that way. Rosie, Mommy? Hmm? Rosie! Rosie was just here, but she went... Caillou liked playing hide-and-seek, but this was the first time that Rosie was so well hidden. He was beginning to get a little frustrated with the game. Daddy, I looked everywhere. I can't find Rosie. Every everywhere? Uh-huh. Still looking for Rosie? Yup. She's doing a good job of hiding, isn't she? Let's all go look. Did you look in here? <laughs> Shh. Gotcha, Rosie. Rosie wasn't there either, but Caillou was having lots of fun looking for Rosie with Mommy and Daddy. Rosie, come out, come out. <laughs> Rosie! <laughs> Rosie! I guess Rosie likes the house you made her, Caillou. Can I play in the house too? <laughs> Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you two should stick to playing hide and seek. Can I hide now? I think your little sister will have a hard time finding you. We'll go hide downstairs and you could come and find us, okay? Oh no! I nearly forgot my surprise! <laughs> Come on, you two. Let's go check out Daddy's surprise. Then we could play hide and seek. Ready for my surprise? Gingerbread cookies! Yum! Yay! You have to go hide now. One, two, three. Caillou found a game that he and Rosie could play together. But it was even better playing with Mommy and Daddy, too. Caillou's Clouds. 
Caillou was going for a picnic in the park with Mommy and Rosie. He was very excited to try out his kite. Ah, this looks like a good spot. What do you say we have our picnic here? Okay. Yay! I'm going to fly my kite. Okay, but just for a little while. We're going to have lunch soon. Why isn't it working, Mommy? First, you have to make sure that the string is long enough. There, that should do it. Take a few steps back. Let go, Mommy! Aww. Maybe try to run a little bit. Ready, set, go! Oh, no! Caillou was disappointed that his kite wasn't working. My kite is broken. It doesn't look broken. There's just no wind right now, and a kite needs wind to stay up in the sky. But I want to fly my kite now. Well, if we wait a little bit, it might just get windy. Who wants some lunch? <sighs> Caillou felt bored. I wish it would be windy. One way to tell if the wind has come back is by looking at the clouds. See how still they are? Mommy, look! There's a dinosaur in the sky! Roar! Oh, no! He's coming to get us! Look over there! That cloud looks like a big bowl of ice cream. I'm going to eat some! Watch! Caillou was having so much fun looking at the clouds that he forgot all about his kite. There's a big tree! Look! There's a train! Choo-choo! Go get it, Rosie! Choo-choo! <laughs> Mommy, push me, too! I'm going to touch the sky! Whoa! <laughs> the clouds look like bubbles in a bubble bath! Whew. I think it's starting to get windy. See? Look at the sky. The clouds are blowing away. Bye, clouds! Bye-bye! Caillou, I bet this would be a good time to try out... My kite! Where did my kite go? Hey! Come back! Gotcha! Watch, Mommy! Mommy! Let's try to let the kite find the wind on its own. If we take our time, I'm sure it will work. Ready? Look! It's flying! I wanted to touch the clouds! Caillou cleans up! <gasps> Hi, little birdie! Caillou was very excited. He'd seen the cardinal before, but this morning he saw something extra special. A bird's nest! And an egg! Mommy! Daddy! I found a bird's nest! Really? Come and see! In a little bit, Caillou. Right now we have an important job to do. It's spring cleaning time, when we clean the house from top to bottom. Can I help? Caillou wanted to help his mommy and daddy and got straight to work lending a hand. Huh? Hi, Grandpa. Hello, Caillou. I've come to look after you and Rosie. How about we go and play outside? In a little bit. Right now, I have an important job to do. Okay, Caillou. You can come outside with me and help me clean the windows while Mommy gets a start on the kitchen. Okay. Look, Caillou, a cardinal. Is that the nest you saw? There's an egg inside it, Daddy. There is? Well, we'll have to keep an eye on it then. Okay, Daddy. How'd you like to clean this window, Caillou? It's just the right height for you. I'll do a good job. The first thing we have to do is get your sponge good and wet. Okay. Now wash the window with the sponge, then put the sponge back in the water. Caillou wanted to do a good job, so he took his time, 
and wash the window just like his daddy told him. Like this, Daddy? Good, Caillou. Next, we dry the window with a paper towel. And we're done. Think you can remember all that? Yes. Do you want me to help you with the next one? No, I can do it. I'm washing windows, Gilbert. Hey, where's my sponge? Here it is. Caillou tried to remember everything his daddy had shown him about washing windows. Gilbert! <laughs> You're all wet! Caillou thought that Gilbert looked pretty silly. He wanted to dry him off, but Gilbert didn't like the idea. didn't have time to talk to the Cardinal. Right now, he had an important job to do, cleaning up the mess Gilbert made. Hi, Daddy. Look at me. I'm raking. I thought you were washing windows, Caillou. I was. Now I'm raking. Huh. I think you've earned a glass of juice. Okay. had already helped Daddy. Now it was Mommy's turn. Caillou! Look, Mommy, I'm mopping up. Hi, Daddy. Caillou wants to help outside again. Great. Uh, do you know what happened to these paper towels? Gilbert got wet from the bucket, but I couldn't find them, so I raked the leaves and I mopped up. I want to be a big help. Caillou, it's very nice that you want to help, but you need to finish what you start. You know, maybe Caillou needs his very own chore. Caillou liked the idea of having his very own chore to do. There was just one thing troubling him. What's a chore? Caillou's mommy and daddy explained that a chore is a special job that someone does to help around the house. And that's how you make a bed, Caillou. And making your own bed can be your chore. Can I try it now? Sure, Caillou. Here, let me help you. No, Mommy. I want to do it. Making the bed was Caillou's special chore, and he wanted to do it all by himself. Okay, Caillou. We'll leave you to do your chore. Sorry, Caillou. Rosie and I are playing hide-and-seek. Would you like to join us? No, thanks, Grandpa. I'm doing my chore. Oh, I see. Well, I'll make sure Rosie doesn't disturb you anymore, Caillou. You're busy with important work. Gilbert! <laughs> now I have to do my chore again. Caillou was proud that he had done such a good job with his chore. Well, Caillou, you really stuck to this chore and you did very well. Oh! Well, what do you know? A baby cardinal. He needs to tidy his nest. His mommy and daddy will help him clean up. But someday he'll be old enough to do his own chores. Just like me! Chicken!
getting to be a big boy. I'm just a kid who's four. Each day I grow some more. I like exploring. I'm Caillou. So many things to do. Each day is something new. I'll share them with you. I'm Caillou. My world is turning, changing each day. With mommy and daddy, I'm finding my way. Growing up is not so tough. here to pick you up. But we're playing. We're making rivers. I know, but it's time to go over to Grandma's. But I want to stay and play with Leo. I'm sorry, Caillou, but we really have to go now. I have to take Rosie to the doctor for a checkup, and you're going to visit Grandma. Caillou was very disappointed that he couldn't stay and play in the backyard with Leo. Hello, Caillou. Hi, Grandma. Caillou was still wishing he could have kept playing with Leo. Would you like to go out and play in the backyard? Is there something upsetting you today? I wanted to stay at home with Leo. You have fun playing with Leo, don't you? He's my friend. Well, is there something else you would like to do? I know. I borrowed a book from the library yesterday. I thought we might read it together. Okay. At first, Caillou wasn't really interested in the book. It wasn't as exciting as playing with Leo in the backyard. But Caillou soon found the book more interesting. Caillou and Grandma read the book about the clown festival. Caillou enjoyed the book so much, he <laughs> forgot all about wanting to play with Leo. I like the clown party book, Grandma. You do? Well, why don't we have a clown party of our own right here? But where will we get the clowns? We'll make puppet clowns. Caillou loved making things with Grandma. Hello, Grandma! First, they glued orange wool on the top of a bag for clown's hair. And already, Caillou got some ideas. I'm going to color this clown with green polka dots and the other clown with red polka dots. And while Caillou colored the clowns, Grandma started to make a puppet theater for the puppets. She cut up a big cardboard box. This is fun. We can make a clown dog, too. Hello, Grandma. My name is Papa Do the Clown. Woof, 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 woof. <laughs> Grandma, Caillou, we're back. Hello, my name is Bopadoo, and I can't find my dog. Woof, 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 woof. Has woof, anyone woof, seen my woof. dog? Here, doggy, Yay. here, doggy. Woof, doggy. Very good, Yay. encore, Yay. encore, yay. You can have Leo over all day tomorrow, Caillou. Yay, we can play puppet clowns. Read all about it. La, la, bum, 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 drum, drum, Caillou drum, was having drum, fun playing drum, with his drum and drum, making a lot drum, of noise. Drum, bum, Caillou, drum, bum, can you keep it down, please? Caillou was making so much noise that he couldn't hear his mommy asking him to be quiet. Caillou, come down here, please. Hi, Mommy. I'm playing with my drum. Yes, I can hear that, but I'm reading now, and I would appreciate it if you were quiet, okay? What are you reading? A very good book. Caillou loved it when Mommy read to him. Can you read it to me? Well, this is a grown-up book, and I don't think it'll interest you all that much. But I'm on my last page. It'll just take me a moment, and then we can read one of your books together, okay? Caillou 
didn't feel like looking at his books. He wanted Mommy to read him a new story. Are you finished yet? There, all done. Have you chosen a book for us to read? I want a new story. Well, I know exactly the place where we could find all sorts of new stories. At the library. Can we go, Mommy? Sure. I have to return this one today. That's why I was in a hurry to finish it. Caillou was very happy to be going to the library with his mommy. Hurry, Mommy! I want to get a book, too! Shh, Caillou. You have to be quiet in the library. Caillou had been to the library before, but he forgot that he was supposed to be very quiet. There are a lot of people that come here to read and work. We have to be quiet so we don't disturb them. Okay. Can I get a book now? Caillou knew there was a different floor where they had all sorts of picture books, and he was in a big hurry to get there. I know where the picture books are, Mommy. Then lead the way. You certainly do know your way around, Caillou. Caillou loved looking at all the colorful books. There were so many, it was hard to choose which one he would borrow. Hello, Caillou. What a nice surprise. Look, Caillou, it's Clementine's mommy. I didn't know you worked here. I volunteer once a month for story time. In fact, it's just about to start. Would you like to come and sit with us, Caillou? Can I, mommy? Of course you can. I'll go browse around for a new book. I'll be back later, okay? Would you like to help me choose the story for today? Can we read this one? Baxter the Bashful Bear. That's an excellent choice. Clementine's mom first read the story about Baxter the Bashful Bear. Then she read another story, and then another. They were all new to Caillou, and he thought they were wonderful. The end. Did you all enjoy the stories? Yeah! I see that story time was a success. Baxter is very funny, Mommy. You can tell me all about him on our way home. I don't want to go. I want to stay and look at the books. Would you like to take these ones home with you, Caillou? When you bring them back, you can choose some new stories for story time, okay? Okay. Now take very good care of them so that the other children can read them after you're done. Daddy, look! I have new books! And you have your own library card, too. We had story time with Clementine's mommy, and she read stories about Baxter the Bashful Bear. That sounds like a lot of fun. Can you read them to me? I sure can. Over the next few days, Caillou read his new books over and over with Mommy and Daddy, and Rosie, too. In fact, he had read them so often that he forgot they were only borrowed until it was time to return them to the library. Caillou, come on, we're going to the library. Okay, Mommy. Don't forget to bring back the books you borrowed. Caillou had accidentally colored on one of the books that belonged to the library. Oh, no. He didn't mean to do it, but now he was afraid of bringing them back. I'll meet you here right after story time, Caillou. Okay, Mommy. Hello, Caillou. I was hoping you'd come back soon. Did you come to return the books you borrowed? Caillou was worried that Clementine's mom would be upset when she saw the book with the crayon scribbled on it. Can I keep them? Wouldn't you rather take some new ones instead? I'll tell you what. If you return the Baxter books, you can borrow this one about the ten little piglets. We'll be reading about them at story time today. Is this your drawing, Caillou? <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I didn't mean to. <laughs> Don't cry. There's no harm done. You're not mad at me? No. These books can take a little punishment. They clean right up. Look. And besides, it was an accident, right? It's all gone. I can tell you're very good with crayons. Would you like to draw something that we can put up on the wall in the library? I'm going to draw Baxter the Bear. <laughs> <laughs> Mommy, we read a story about the
the ten little piglets. The story must have been very funny. And Clementine's mommy put my drawing up on the wall. That's wonderful, Caillou. Let's bring your books to the counter so we can take them home. I want to do it. Caillou is happy to take home a new book again. And this time, he would be extra careful with it. Goodbye, Caillou. See you soon. Bye! Mom for a day. I have to go to a business meeting. Mm. And I won't be home until very late. Mm. Do you think you could help Daddy while I'm gone, Caillou? Yes, Mommy. What's wrong, Caillou? Mommy never puts cheese on Rosie's macaroni. She doesn't like it. Juice? Daddy, Mommy always adds a little water to Rosie's apple juice. Oops, I forgot. You're absolutely right, Caillou. What would I do without your help? Hmm, what about Gilbert? What's his routine, Caillou? <laughs> He has fresh water and food. Eight, nine, ten. Ready or not, here I come. <laughs> I found you. <laughs> uh -huh. Who knew whenever he hurt himself, Mommy always kissed his boo boos until he felt better? I'll make it better, Rosie. I'm the daddy, and you're the baby, Rosie. Caillou was having a wonderful time playing house with Rosie. But Rosie was getting tired. I think somebody's ready for a nap. Wait, Daddy! Caillou was bored and wanted to play with Rosie, but he knew he wasn't allowed to make noise when she was taking her nap. Achoo! Uh, achoo! Caillou, did you wake Rosie up on purpose? Maybe you should go and play in your room for a while until supper's ready, okay? Rosie, you have to eat everything on your plate if you want dessert. Look, Caillou ate everything. Rosie, look, this is an airplane. Open wide for the plane. Room. <laughs> I wonder what Mommy would do to make Rosie stop fussing. I know. You're a tired little girl, Rosie. You have to go to bed. Daddy, you forgot to read us a story. Well, why don't you read us the story tonight, Caillou? Okay. Once upon a time, in a land far, far away. Caillou, Rosie, what are you two still doing up? Shh, Daddy's asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Caillou plays baseball. He's batting 365, but his first base play is off. Daddy, what's a base? The bases are what the batter runs around after he hits the ball. He wants to get to as many bases as he can before the ball is caught. Caillou didn't quite understand what his daddy was talking about. Hooray! <laughs> he hit a hole in the bottom of the ninth! Oh, what a great game! <laughs> Yippee! <laughs> I want to play baseball, Daddy! Here's a glove, Daddy. Thanks, Caillou, but here's the baseball glove. This is the glove Grandpa gave to me when I was little, and now I'm giving it to you. Wow! Thanks, Daddy. Here, let me throw you one so you can try out the glove. Oops! Oh, no! <laughs> That's 
why Mommy says don't throw balls in the house, Daddy. <laughs> I guess you're right, Caillou. Caillou was all ready to learn how to play baseball. Okay, Caillou. The first step to playing baseball is learning how to catch. Okay. Good catch, son. Your turn, Caillou. Throwing and catching the ball weren't as easy as they looked. That's okay. Next time, try to catch it with both hands. That's what beginners do. Did someone lose this? Hello! I'm playing baseball, Mr. Hinkle. Baseball? My favorite game. I used to be quite a player when I was a kid, you know. Here, Caillou, catch. I think this glove is broken, Daddy. It takes a bit of practice to learn how to catch a ball. Here, let me show you how to hold your mitt. No! It seemed to Caillou that everyone knew how to play baseball. Everyone, except him. You know, I didn't know how to throw and catch very well when I started playing. <laughs> I'll say he didn't. When your dad started learning how to play, there were quite a few broken windows around the house. But he got the hang of it soon enough and had a great time playing. Really? Sure. Here, catch. I hate baseball. What do you say we take a little break and go to the park, Caillou? Throw it back, Caillou. Go on, try. Good throw, Caillou. Caillou was happy he made a good throw. Guess your practicing this morning paid off. We usually come to practice every day. If you keep practicing, maybe you'll be able to play with us soon. Daddy? Can you show me how to hold my glove now? It takes a little time to get used to the feel of catching a ball in a glove. Try to do this a few times. Keep at it and soon you'll be able to catch the ball in the glove almost every time. Catching a ball still wasn't easy. Caillou was having fun now. <laughs> Give that back, Gilbert. Catch, Gilbert. <laughs> Oops. Sorry, Daddy. That's okay. Here, catch. can play baseball. Almost. You still have to learn how to bat. No one told him there was still more to learn. Hang on, Caillou. Let me give you a hand. If you hold the bat this way, it will help you be a good hitter. And it helps to stand like this. Now, just keep your eye on the ball. Caillou just wanted to hit the ball. When can I hit it, Daddy? Now! I did it! I did it! Run to first base, Caillou! Run! Uh, the other way. Caillou, run! <laughs> I like batting. So do I. You hit to me first, Sarah. Caillou couldn't believe how far Sarah hit the ball. I can't do that. Not yet, but you'll be able to someday if you keep practicing. But I want to play a game. Okay, come on. Uh -huh. Whoa! Uh -huh. <laughs> Run to first.
first base, Caillou. Run! <laughs> <laughs> it's a home run! I like baseball, Daddy. <laughs> so do I, Caillou. Like father, like son. <laughs> <laughs>